So, copy lang natin. Matrix A, we have 2, negative 4, 5. 3, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Okay, so using row 2. Okay. So, finding the determinant of A. Using row 2. Have first number, we have negative 4. And then, again, multiplied by negative 1 raised to row 2 plus column 1. Row 2, column 1. So, that is 2 plus 1. Times the matrix, cofactor matrix, we have. Kapag tatanggalin natin yung lahat ng, yung row, kung saan member si 4. Tanggalin yan. And yung column kung saan member si 4. Matitira na lang is 3, negative 1, 0, and negative 3. So, 3, negative 1, 0, and negative 3. Next, we have plus 1. Multiplied by negative 1, raised to, that is row 2. And column 2. So, that is 2 plus 2. Times the matrix. Kapag tatanggalin natin si 1. So, this is 1. We have this column and we have to remove that row. So, yung matitira is 2, negative 1, 5, and negative 3. So, writing that, we have 2, negative 1. 5 and negative 3. And then, next is we have negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 raised to, that is row 2, column 3. So, 2 plus 3 times our matrix will be again, Tatanggalin natin to and this one. So, yung matitira will be 2, 3, 5, and 0. Um, 2, 3. One thing pala that you have to make sure is tama yung mga nakokopyan yung matrix. Kasi kapag wrong yung matrix, syempre wrong na yung determinant. And, make sure na tama yung mga sign na nakokopya ninyo. Okay, so right now, we just have to simplify this one. So, I'll just um, be using a shortcut na lang. So, this is negative 9. That is negative 9 minus. This will become 0. So, what it means is negative 9. In this part, we have that is negative 6 minus negative 5. That will become negative 6 plus 5. That will be negative 1. So, and in this part, we have that is 0. This is negative 15. Because 0 minus 15. So, this one, we have... Um, raise to 3, that is negative 1. Raise to 4, that is positive 1. This is raise to 5, so that is negative 1. So, negative 4 times negative 1, that is positive 4 times negative 9. Plus, that is positive 1. So, multiplied by... Okay, let's just write positive 1, positive 1, and negative 1. So, this whole thing will be negative 1. And this part, we have minus 2 times negative 1 times negative 15. And that whole thing will be uh, positive 15 minus... Okay, so this is negative 36 minus 1 minus 30. And that will make it negative 67. So, therefore, our 
determinant is also negative 67. Tulad ng nakuha natin sa first part by using the row 1. So, have to solve for the determinant of A using row 3 as your basis. Okay, so you have to practice for that, okay? Okay, so in order for us to get the inverse of a matrix, kailangan natin maintindihan yung pagkuha ng determinant. So, example, we have a 4 by 4 matrix and it will be just AC. Kapag given tayo ng ganitong structure, we have a row na madaming 0. We have 0, negative 1, 0, and 0. And by the cofactor method, kapag gagamitin natin yun, it will be easier for us to solve kasi that will be 0 plus itong fa itong um, negative 1 na basis lang yung i-solve natin and the rest will be 0. Okay. So, that is kung madami, may row ka na madaming 0. So, given that, of course, yan na yung isa-select nating row. So, we have to solve for the determinant of A using that. So, we just, we just have to copy for negative 1 in that. Multiplied by our negative 1 times anong row yan. You have the third row plus the second column. So, that is 3 plus 2. Multiplied by the matrix left by removing negative 1. So, ito yung basis natin. So, tatanggalin natin to and tatanggalin natin tong row na yan. So, yung matitira na lang, we have 1, 4, 1. We have 7, 8, 16, 10, 10, and 16. Okay, so, kaya na natin i-solve yan. So, simplify muna natin to. 3 plus 2, that is 5. So, negative 1 raised to 5 is negative 1. Multiplied by negative 1, so that will be positive 1. Okay. So, how about this one? Of course, we have to use for the crisscross. Okay, so we have to add for 1, 4, 1, 7, 8, and 16. Okay, so, negative, that is 1 multiplied by, so, we have 1, 8, 16, plus 7, 10, 1, plus 10, 4, 16, okay, now, minus, Sige, dito na lang. Minus 1, 8, 10. Minus 16 times 10 times 1. Minus 16 times 4 times 7. Okay. So, saan galing to? Na-learn na natin yan kanina. Okay, so, we have just to simplify that. Okay, 1, 8, 16, that is 128. You just have to check in your calculator kung tama, okay. This is 70. This is 640. This is negative 80. This is negative 160. I mean, included na yung signs dun. And this is negative 448. So, you have 1 to 8 plus 70 plus 640 minus 80 
i-omit na natin yung 1 na kasi 1 lang naman yun. 160 tapos minus 448. So, we already have the determinant equal to 150. So, you can double check the answer kung tama. And 150 will be our final answer. So, madali lang yung using cofactor kapag meron kang row na filled with zeros. Ayan. Okay lang naman kahit isang zero lang. Basta you select the row with the most number of zero para mas madali. Okay, so please take note of this one because it will be useful in our next topic.